In this video, I'm gonna give you a hint so you can complete this problem. Suppose f and g are differentiable. The graph of y equal f of x is in blue here. The graph of y equal g of x is in red here. The applet constructs tangent lines to each graph at points above a. Notice as you move this point, the tangent lines are constructed for each function. It shows the slope of the tangent lines and the output values as well. Okay, so now we are going to compute f times g derivative at the input value x equal one. Remember, derivative of the multiplication of two functions evaluated at some input value can be gotten by taking the derivative of the first function evaluated at one times the second function evaluated at one plus the derivative of the second function evaluated at one times the first function evaluated at one, right? This is just a product rule. Now, if you use your applet, you can see that if you set this point right here at one, notice the derivative of the function f, this blue function at x equal one is just zero. How do I know? Here is a zero, right, for the slope of the tangent line, but also I know that the slope of a horizontal line is zero, right? Great, so this guy's zero. Now, it's right here, so zero. We need to compute now g evaluated at one. g evaluated at one is the following. You look at this guy, one, g is showing an output value for x equal one of y equal 1.5, right? 1.5, so 1.5 here, 1.5 plus the derivative of the function g at one, the derivative of the function g at one, look at the tangent line, the slope here, one over one, one, right? Shows that the slope of the tangent line here is one. Evaluation of the function f at x equal one. Well, look at the second coordinate here for x equal one by equal one. So this should be one, right? One. Notice zero times, 1.50, one times one, one. This is what you are supposed to type here, right? I hope this will help you to complete this question. Thank you.